Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hi, I'm Chris Smith, Shambles Guru on the interweb, and I'm here in uh, Chiang Mai in North Thailand, about an hour's flight north of Bangkok. And we're going to spend a few minutes together now, and I'm going to show you around the Aussie Live website and how we can find where the sessions are that you might be attending over the two days of the conference in February. And, uh, and then I'm going to show you how you can actually get into the uh, webinar platform to attend the sessions. And the webinar platform is called Blackboard Collaborate. And this works on different events. I'm, uh, I'm uh, on different platform, uh, on different machines. I'm using a Windows 7 laptop here, but you could be using a, uh, uh, to connect, you could be using an Apple machine. Um, you could be using an iPad, and I'll tell you a bit more about that in a second. But what you can't use, and let me just show you, which is a bit sad, what you cannot use is, let me go over to this right tab here. This is a, a Chromebook. This is Google's Chrome OS running on a, a laptop. Unfortunately, Chrome OS doesn't support Java. Let me show you Java. And your machine needs to, uh, your laptop, Windows laptop or Mac machine needs to download Java. And we'll look at that in a second. So, sorry guys, um, with uh, Chromebooks. Um, maybe next year. I know somebody's working on it. I'm sure Google's working on it. So let's look at the website. And here's the website here. Now, how do we find the sessions, first of all? Oh, the, when the website is uh, uh, aussielive.com. Uh, there's another URL here as well, australianeducators.ning.com, because this platform is a Ning. And uh, to sh how do we connect? How do we find the sessions? Well, what we don't do is we, we don't scroll down the page. What we do do is we go along the top here, Home, Member Zone, Aussie Live 2014, Certificates and Recordings, Schedule. So let me click on Schedule. And there's some text here which explains what's going on about attending the, attending it, uh, attending the conference and mobile use and so on. I want to look at the schedule down here. And this is super clever. What it's doing here is it's giving me the UTC date and time. But what you want, and what I love, is that we can see the schedule in our local time. Now I'm going to go down here to find my local time, which is GMT plus 7, Bangkok. And if I click on there, what it does, so clever. <laughs> this technology, I think it's going to catch on. What it's done is it's given me all of the sessions here in my time, my time in uh, Thailand. And there's Saturday sessions and all the way down to uh, Sunday. So it's about eight hours each day. So that's very early in the morning. You see, it's, for me, it's starting at four o'clock in the morning for me in Thailand. I won't be getting up, boys and girls. Um, that's 8 o'clock in the morning in uh, Sydney time. So how do you now? Now you've found out what the items are. And if you click on any of them, then it will give you details who's running it and uh, what it's about, and a description, any websites that the person running the session wants you to know about. Um, click on it again, it goes away, collapses. It's clever stuff, this technology. Um, but how do we join? How do you actually get into the Blackboard Collaborate webinar platform? What does it look like? I'm going to do that by looking at the first one, which is uh, the, the keynote which is being given. And if I click on there, it opens up about the keynote, a bio of uh, Steve, Steve Hardagon, Don, Steve Hargadon, and, uh, uh, and there's a link here which it says session link. Let me click on the session link. Now, it's highly advisable that when you do this, you give yourself uh, plenty of time the first time you do it, at least half an hour, if not longer. Now, it's asking me for a name, so I'm going to put Shambles Guru. Shambles Guru. You could, of course, you can stay anonymous or you can put your real name. Some people actually put where they are as their name. That's so why I could put Shambles Guru. In fact, let me do it. Shambles Guru Thailand. It tells people a bit more about yourself. I could spell Thailand. There we go. And then I click login. 
Now it's using some software called Java and it's downloaded something just now called drop in 2 because I did it earlier today as well. So I'm going to say save that. Just look at where I'm saving it so I can come back. Save it. And it saved it in my browser. I'm actually using Google Chrome browser. Uh, there it is. Now sometimes on some machines it will automatically run it. On mine it's not so I have to click here in the bottom left hand corner and click on open. And what it should do is come up with there we go. It's saying it's uh, downloaded and using Java 7. And it probably is going to ask me for permission to run it. I can't remember whether I've already given it permission or not. Here we go. It's saying, do you want to run this application? Click run. There might be a box here which says always trust this site. Click run. It, this looks almost exactly the same on Windows as it does here, although it might ask you to download something else as well. Uh, but rough, the idea is the same, but it may look, be, be warned, if you're using a Mac book with Mac OS, it may look slightly different. Here we are, Blackboard Collaborate is loading. You see these spots go along here to show you the process of the loading. The progress, not the process, the progress of the, of the uh, loading. And here we are. It's opened it up. Oh, give it a chance to, uh, let me just centre it on my screen. And here we are. That's it. We're in the program now. And the slides will be here. I think a slide will probably open up here in a minute, uh, an introductory slide for the very beginning. It may, here we go. That was good timing. Um, where they're recommending you can do things like check your microphone, which I might as well do while I'm here. It's a good idea always to check your microphone and speakers, and you do that by going up to the top left-hand corner here, click on Tools, click on or don't click on Audio, mouse over Audio, and you've got an Audio Setup Wizard. Click on that. You may not be using your microphone, but it, just in case you want to, you're given the opportunity to speak later. But certainly it will make sure your headset or your earphones are working. Let me just go through the areas here. So this is the interactive whiteboard. Sometimes there will be some controls down the left here of the whiteboard if you're given permission to write on it as an attendee. Um, up here we, you can adjust the volume of the, of the uh, talk so it's a bit soft drag that when somebody's talking. Up here you'll see their picture, maybe even the video of themselves sat at the desk, the presenters. Um, here will be a list of participants. I'm the only one in, in here. You notice it says Shambles Guru Thailand. I'm the only one here at the moment. And down here, there'll be a, it's not enabled at the moment, but there'll be a chat box. So you can type in there and chat and you see different people chatting here. Of course, the term is back channel. So they're back channeling while the presentation's going on. If you don't like this layout, it's very uh, configurable. Like you can get hold of bits and just drag them like that, and you can even grab hold of the individual elements, just drag it around the screen like that, and uh, limit go of that. And I think that's that's all to do with uh, with the platform itself. You you can have an opportunity to play beforehand, and uh, you won't break it. Uh, if you, actually, if you do break it, somewhere at the top here, somewhere at the top here, if you ever get things all mixed up all, out, all over the place, go to Tools, no, I'm wrong, View, and click on Restore Default Layout, and it will come back to this. And that's it. My only other request, my plea, this is from all the presenters and all the moderators, is when the session's over, please log yourself out, because the sessions are being recorded, and the recordings can't stop properly until everybody's left the room. As I didn't make that clear. We, this is a room. And to log out, you just go over to File here and click on Exit. And then it will uh, log out, which it's done. And actually, when it logs out, it will also... Has it done it? No, it hasn't done it yet. It's not enabled yet. It uh, will come up with a, um evaluation form that you can you can fill in. Oh, this is a bit long. Sorry, boys and girls. Um, I just want to share a few more things. Uh, let's go back to the home page. Here we go. And I want to bring up the links that are down the right-hand side here. There's all the the, the uh, social media aspects here. There's a Twitter account. Y you can see there's a back channel tool which aggregates the hashtag, and the hashtag is this. There's a YouTube account. Uh, 
PowerPoints from some of the presenters will be going in this slide share area. There's a Flickr one for photographs. I want to mention this conference room. The conference room is a Blackboard Collaborate room and you can click, go there, uh, sign in in the same way we just did in that uh, keynote session and uh, have a play and meet other presenter, uh, presenters, other attendees, volunteers, uh, organizers. Here's an area on how to connect using an iPad and I'll put a note under the uh, in the blog post and I blog about this and I think that is all for a, 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 a web and a, a screencast which is far far too long sorry for that I hope you enjoy the conference it's the inaugural one it's <laughs> it's amazing it really is the uh, the work that's gone into this but I, I suspect this is going to be an annual event uh, for many many people for years to come take care and have have fun